Hey guys, welcome back to Tweak Town Plays Fallout 4. Today we're on the PS4 version and we're going to be taking a look at the bottle cap glitch. Now I noticed something pretty frustrating about the bottle cap glitch and it's that whenever you actually glitch the ammo from a vendor, you're, that ammo is not always free. It's actually pulling away from existing ammo that you have. So let's just go ahead and illustrate real fast. We'll glitch out. Okay, so I have 143 50 caliber rounds. Let's go ahead and glitch out Arturo's 50 cal rounds. Buy all, sell back one, sell all. Now we're going to get the glitch. Now this is how it works. You just use that method and you typically sell back each individual round. And sometimes you can group these rounds together. You can make stacks of them. See, now I have 15, a stack of 14. And you could just keep doing this over and over and over and over. This will not only wipe out the bottle caps, but it will actually reduce or increase the cost that the vendor owes you. So if the vendor owes you 10,000 caps and you go to buy something that's ridiculously expensive, let's go ahead and what does he got? A power armor frame? All right, let's buy that. So now he, I owe him 3,000. Each time I sell him a stack, it lowers the cost and eventually it'll just make it free. However, it's really not free and I'll show you. So let's go ahead, make it so, sell enough so it just goes to zero. Okay, let's go ahead and sell it. All right, awesome. She got a power armor frame for free, right? Okay, let's go ahead and check our ammo and see what happened. Ah, where did our 50 caliber ammo go? Hmm, strange. And basically, your ammo that you're using to glitch, him, pulls away from your existing ammo. So if you sell enough, you'll just wipe out all of your ammo stores. To get around that, just drop your ammo before you go to glitch. Drop it all. Or just drop whatever it is you know that you're going to use the glitch. Everything I got Therefore, it won't pull see. away. The glitch will still work, Let's see what you got. and it won't pull Everything away from your existing pile of ammunition. Go ahead and illustrate this for you guys. There you go. And since we don't have any 50 cal ammo, it doesn't matter. The real pain comes in whenever you're going to actually buy the 50 caliber ammo because the glitch only works for one weapon one ammo type at a time well I take that back you can use different ammo to glitch to buy other ammo but if you only have one ammunition left which is what normally what happens whenever you go to buy all the ammunition that he has you can't glitch anymore to buy that last ammo. But anyway, you won't really need to do that anyway as long as you just drop the ammo before you glitch. Just go ahead and do this. So I hope this method helps you guys. Just remember, just drop all your ammo here. No one will touch it, no one will mess with it. Just drop it all, do the glitch, pick it back up, rinse and repeat. Also remember that you could sit here and just wait 24 hours and every single vendor all of the inventories will replenish along with all of their caps so you can just keep doing this over and over getting their ammo getting their caps getting their special weapons and all that good stuff and just keep doing it until you know you get bored or whatever oh also remember that these guys typically have shipments of materials this is amazing whenever you're trying to build an insane settlement, which we are trying to do right now. So keep a good, keep an eye out for that. We already have a bobblehead guide out. We have a console command guide out, and now we got this one. Hope this guy, this guide has helped you. And just remember, Reflection drop all your sale. stuff, glitch, and rinse and repeat. See you guys later. Take it easy.